Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Mark Levin, one very smart man. He knows the Constitution like we would know our ABCs. And here's a part of his show he has on Fox News on the weekends. What do people know about Hitler? It could be half the country doesn't have the foggiest idea. The Democrat Party has been very successful in dumbing down what Hitler did and what the Third Reich means. In fact, the Democrat Party has been calling Republicans Hitler from Barry Goldwater to Ronald Reagan, George W. Bush, Richard Nixon, John McCain, Mitt Romney. They called Nikki Haley, Eva Braun, Hitler, Hitler, Hitler. And of course, Donald Trump, they must have said it a million times. And the amazing thing about the people using the word Hitler, they come from a party who has members that worship Hitler who talk like Hitler, who attack the Jews, who are anti-Semites, who attack the state of Israel. Talib, Talib, Kamala Harris has supported her re-election. Omar, Kamala Harris has supported her re-election. AOC, as a Jew, it disgusts me, particularly when we have a party and a media and a candidate, Kamala Harris, when it comes to October 7th, undermines the state of Israel and gives safe cover to some of the things that the enemies of Israel have done, particularly when this administration has surrounded itself with anti-Semites, Jew haters, a rat's nest of Jew haters at the State Department and in the National Security Council. It's in our streets, it's in our universities, it's in our colleges, it's in our culture, and they control it all. But Donald Trump is Hitler, so I think it's time that we take a look at who Hitler is, because if I don't do it, Nobody's gonna do it. So graphic warning, go. Due to the graphic content of this, I decided not to have it included with this video, but I do have a link in the description if you'd like to go watch the unedited version of this show. And what happened on October 7th was the worst thing since that. And look how our media, our colleges and universities, and the Democrat Party have turned on Israel and Benjamin Netanyahu, how they use the Hamas Nazi statistics against the Jews, how they use blood libels and talk about the Jews in Israel committing genocide. Kamala Harris did that. Let's take a little peek at Donald Trump. First, his father, Fred Trump. Take a look at this. Go. In 1955, Holocaust survivors looking to begin their new lives were arriving by the hundreds in Brooklyn. They quickly outgrew their synagogue that was run from a garage, prompting their rabbi to meet with the building's owner, Fred Trump. Today, the Beach Haven Jewish Center stands strong on a plot of land given to the Jewish community for $10 by Mr. Trump. Fred Trump made it his priority to help construct the solid brick synagogue to provide a lifelong place of worship to survivors arriving from Poland, Germany, and Austria. And their families still worship there today passing by a simple plaque on the wall that reads, Fred Trump, Humanitarian. 62 years later, Donald Trump followed in his father's footsteps to erect another building, the United States Embassy in Jerusalem. Israel has no better friend than President Trump. President Trump is the only president of the United States to go to the Western Wall, one of the holiest sites in the Holy Land for the Jews. In her four years as the vice president, Kamala Harris never went to Israel anymore, I guess, than she went to the border. I want you to take a little look at this, too, who they call Hitler, Donald Trump. Go. Therefore, I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. While previous presidents have made this a major campaign promise, they failed to deliver. Today, I am delivering. There he is, President Trump, praying at the Western Wall. Americans have never seen anything like this before. Look at him. He's wearing a kippah. Does he look like Hitler to you? That's May 2017. He didn't do this for political reasons. The Jewish population is a tiny percent. Now look at this. This is October 7th, honoring the anniversary of the horrific events that took place since the Holocaust in Queens, New York, with Chabad rabbis. Kamala Harris wasn't anywhere to be seen, neither was her husband, Dougie Emhoff. 
neither was Joe Biden. This is a man whose daughter converted to Orthodox Judaism, whose son-in-law is an Orthodox Jew, and he has three Orthodox Jewish children. How dare Kamala Harris and these Democrats compare him to Hitler when they're the party of Talib and Omar and Bernie Sanders, when they're the party that has been undermining the state of Israel and its ability to destroy Hamas and Hezbollah, and they've been funding Iran. They funded terrorism in the Middle East. They funded UNRWA. They funded the PLO, the Teller Force Act, which Donald Trump got passed to prevent the funding anymore of terrorist activities by Abbas, and the Palestinian Authority. Yes, Donald Trump is the best friend the Jews in Israel ever had, and he's the best friend the Jews in America ever had. Well, for Jews, I can tell you this. At least Jews who know what that all happened in their history, at least Jews who believe in their faith, I can tell you this. We are disgusted by the Democrat Party and their propaganda. What they say, what they say about Trump, they didn't lift a damn finger that party or this administration or Kamala Harris during those riots against the Jews, which reminded me of Kristallnacht, which reminded me of the Third Reich. Just last year in the United States of America at our Ivy League colleges, that's right, the burning of the American flag, the carrying of Hamas, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, the Muslim Brotherhood flags, and the Palestinian flag. Who's the leader of the peaceful Palestinians? Would he please step forward? Kamala Harris wants the vote of these people. She had a secret meeting in Dearborn, Michigan with the mayor. That's Jihad Central. I'm not talking about Muslim. I'm talking about jihadists and Islamists. Let's get into this general stuff. Dictators. You know who was called a dictator? John Adams for the Alien and Sedition Act. You know who else was called a dictator? President Andrew Jackson. You know who was called a dictator? Woodrow Wilson, Franklin Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln. And Abraham Lincoln had a lot of generals he couldn't stand because they were just like Kelly. They were just like Mattis. Mattis. They were just like Milley, who dares to come forward because the disgrace of Afghanistan will be right there on his epitaph, Milley's epitaph, for the rest of his damnable life. Generals that Lincoln had problems with, General John Fremont, General Benjamin Butler, General Carl Shores, General McClendon, General McClellan, General John Logan, General John Dix, General Fitz John Porter, General David Hunter, General Henry Halleck, General Winfield Scott, General Joseph Hooker. He either fired them, he removed them, he, re he replaced them and, and switched them with other generals. When the generals did not live up to the president's expectations, Lincoln changed them. Ultimately, was commander-in-chief, quote, even after Ulysses S. Grant became general-in-chief in March 1864, Lincoln maintained a significant degree of strategic oversight. He was a hands-on commander-in-chief who persisted through a terrible ordeal of defeats and disappointments to final triumph and tragedy at the end. He was assassinated, just like they tried to assassinate Donald Trump. And this propaganda about Hitler may wind up putting a bullet in Donald Trump's head. And I don't think these bastards give a damn about it, quite frankly. I really don't. And if you want to talk about anti-Semitism, it's you, Kamala Harris. It's the things you have said about the Jews. It's the things you have said against the state of Israel. It's the things you have said in favor of Hamas and our enemies. You talk out of both sides of your mouth. Both sides of your mouth. So I want you to know, the American people, that generals speaking out and trying to destroy a president, that's not new. That a media calling a president a dictator, that's not new. I want you to know that, that anti-Semitism on the left, whether it's the New York Times or the Washington Post, whether it is Franklin Roosevelt and his rat-filled State Department, like our rat-filled State Department today, and whether it's the current administration filled with Iranian sympathizers that funded Iran, that funded Hamas, that attacked Israel, this current administration, with Kamala Harris as the number two, is the most anti-Semitic, anti-Israel administration in history. And they bring up Hitler because Kamala Harris is pathetic.